What do you think you added to the Heart Legacy? I think... What do I add to it? Yeah. Oh, I've never been asked that. Um, well, I think... Uh, that's a good question. That's a, That actually kind of stumped me. I'm really humble. I, I take pride in being humble. I don't like to like go on about, you know, what what makes me great or what makes me great for the family. But I think... I'm so proud to be able to continue to carry on like the torch that my grandfather passed on to my uncles and that my uncles passed on to me. Um, that makes me so proud because I feel like I've, <laughs> I feel like I've done my family's name. Like I've, I've done the name proud and it's not easy to be a woman in this industry. It's certainly not easy when you're following in these massive footsteps, when your uncle is Bret Hart or Owen Hart or, the British Bulldog or Dynamite Kid, your dad is Jim the Anvil Neidhart. I just named like four Hall of Famers there. Um, and your grandfather is Stu Hart. Like to follow in those footsteps and to have to like blaze your own trail, I feel like I've really been able to keep my family's name alive. And I'm proud of that. I'm so proud of that. And I've been able to do it in such a positive way where people can still think about the Hart family and see it alive and, and well today. And, and they can, when they watch me perform, they can think about my uncles and think about my grandfather and go, wow, like, you know, it's so cool to see like a heart still doing this. I'm just, I think it's, to me, it's so important to keep my family's name alive. The biggest, biggest, biggest thing for me is to continue to honor them and to continue to keep the name alive, to keep the dungeon alive, to remind people of what the dungeon was, what my grandfather started in 1955, um, to keep the Hart family name alive and to really make sure that my family is honored and represented the, in the best possible way. Is your training facility the dungeon? Well, it's, a, it's, it's called a dungeon, yes, but it's actually named after my grandfather's dungeon. So my grandfather started the original dungeon in the 50s when he bought the Hart House in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. And um, it's a, it, the original dungeon was just this little room with a mat and a couple windows and these wooden walls. And my grandfather had his own weights down there. He had his own like, like he, he welded his own weights that said, the, that said his name, Hart, on the weights. And um, it's where some of the greatest professional wrestlers in the world learned how to work, learned how to wrestle, learned how to hone their craft. Wrestlers like the Dynamite Kid and Brian Pillman, my dad, Owen, Brett, Davey, um, uh, Gorilla Monsoon. Gorilla Monsoon trained with my grandfather in the dungeon. Um, my grandfather actually broke in the Von Erichs. He, my grandfather, Stu, is the reason why the Von Erichs got into professional wrestling because my grandfather met Fritz Von Erich in Edmonton and Fritz was, was meeting with the Edmonton Eskimos, a football team, because Fr Fritz was a football player. So Fritz Von Erich met Stu Hart and Stu said, you're big, you're a big guy, you should get into wrestling. Next thing you know, Fritz Von Erich and his wife and his family were moving in, into the Hart House on, on the property. They lived in a little trailer on the property. And my grandfather broke Fritz in to wrestling. And so I thought that was so cool because we've just seen the success of the Iron Claw. Did you see it? I did. And I loved it. I thought it was so well done. And um, it was very inspiring to me. That movie inspired me so much. And I just, I couldn't believe like, because I saw the movie and I texted Brett and I said, you have to see this movie. It's so good. It's so touching. It's really powerful. And Brett told me the story about Fritz getting into wrestling through my grandfather. So I thought that was just so cool because so many people are connected to my family in such a special way. Has there ever been talks about a Hart family movie? There's been talks about a movie. Um, I can't, like I, I've been, it's, it's funny, I'm not sworn to secrecy, but I, I'm not allowed to say entirely what it is. It, it, it's, when we say Hart family, it, 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 that's very vague. It's a very, the Hart family could be a bunch of things because listen, the Hart family, there's a ton of meat on the bone. You could, you could do a movie just on my grandfather, Stu Hart alone because my grandfather, how he even got involved in wrestling was because he was a homeless child living in Saskatchewan, which is a place, if you know, Canada, Saskatchewan is one of the coldest places in Canada. And my grandfather lived in a tent and slept in between dogs to stay warm and his the only, and there's been many books and things written about this, but it's my grandfather's legacy. Um, 
<laughs> the reason why he started wrestling was because he just needed a place to stay warm. So he joined the YMCA as a place to like get refuge, a place to go inside, a place to like, you know, just stay, literally find shelter. And he took up amateur wrestling, literally as a place to stay warm out of the snow and became amateur wrestling champion of Canada. So wrestling saved my grandfather's life, literally. Who would you want to play your dad? Oh, there's, there's. <laughs> <laughs> Who would you want to play you? I well, it's funny because like I love Sydney Sweeney, so I'm like Sydney Sweeney should play Natty. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I think Sydney Sweeney should play me, um, and I know that, but she's like I think she's so talented and like she's so pretty. So like I'm gonna go with somebody that's really pretty. <laughs> Um, I've said this in interviews before, but I think it's worth saying again. I love Paul Walter Hauser and I think he's so talented, but I love that he loves wrestling, you know, and I, and it's funny cause I, he is a huge wrestling fan and I, and he's, he loves the industry. He's passionate about it. He's wrestled in his acceptance speech at the Emmys. He, um, he like called out Matt Cardona in his acceptance speech and was like, cause he's getting ready to have a match with him or I think he had a match with him. He's about to, um, but Paul, Paul Walter Hauser loves wrestling. He has so much respect for wrestling, but the more I look at old footage of my dad, the more that I'm like, Oh my God, Paul would be like a great Jim Neidhart. Like he has like, it's, I've said this before, but I can't unsee Paul as my dad. I think he would play such a great Jim Neidhart. And I love that he loves wrestling and um, he's passionate about the industry. And like when I, when I start fantasy casting, I would, I would cast Paul. Um, but then like there's so many different people that I would think like who would play my grandfather? You know, like my grandfather, he's such a stoic, handsome man. Um, and then I think about my grandmother, Helen Hart, who would play her and like, cause she was such a beautiful woman. So there's so much meat on the bone. I think when you think Hart family, people go directly to like just Brett Owen, you know, my dad, Davey, it's, it's, it's more, it's, there's so much to my family. And I think that's what makes our family special. That's why like something like a movie on our family, um, there's just so many possibilities. When's your book coming out? My book. Uh, <laughs> Are you working on it? <laughs> um, I have been approached to write a book, and it's something I'm really interested in doing. Um, 2024 is going to be a year of huge growth for me, and I'm really excited about it. Um, there's a lot of change happening for me and a lot of positive, like, positive growth. Um, so I'm, I'm really excited about what I'm going to be doing this year and the projects that I'm working on. It's... To me, it's the year that I've been waiting for. And people say to me, like, oh, what, what more do you want to do in WWE? Or are you happy where you're at? Or what, what, like, what are your feelings? Or, you know, do you still want to do, do this or that? And it's like, I still want so much more. I want so much more. I, I've been fighting for so much more for so long. And I think that's what's kept me in WWE for 17 years, is that I've never stopped being hungry. I've never stopped going to work like it's the, my first day on the job. I've never stopped fighting for my dreams, fighting for opportunities, fighting, fighting to be the best, fighting to honor my family in the way that they should be honored. Like I just, I have so many more dreams and so many more goals that I want to accomplish. And this year is like a big start for that for me. 